Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We're going to be talking about E3, so some E3 prep talk. We'll go over the big three today, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo. We're so excited about E3 uh, this year. It's the, our industry's biggest show, and we're going to cover it. We're going to be there. We're going to have hands-on with all the games that you want to know about. And in fact, we're going to be doing interviews with a lot of developers. We can't wait to share all that information with you. Uh, today, my name's Will. I'm sorry. As always, my name is Will. Tomorrow, he will be John. <laughs> my name's Will. This this is nine. Yo. We've got Gage Hi. and we have Sam. Hey. Start off with Microsoft. Microsoft, um, obviously, their big, huge flagship title and game that we know we're going to see is Halo Five. Halo Five. Yeah. I was going to say Pikmin. Well, that's no. <laughs> that is Nintendo. No. Um, Halo. Yeah, Halo Five. Halo yeah. Five. I mean, um, so far so good. You've played the beta. I played the beta. You know, I've you know I've met with three four three last year about Master Chief Collection, of course, which they promised me a lot of great things. Uh, did not turn out so well for them. A lot of broken bugs. Yeah, it's th they're still Bug having issues with bugs it. in bugs. Apparently, um, we're still working through it. You're right. And, yeah. and but my I predict great things from Halo Five. I think I they're going to be able to turn that around and make it you know make up for what they did. And hopefully there'll be some kind of fan service to They'll make it learn up for the people their who lesson. Buy. I, I and think with Halo so. Five, you've got to you've got to realize that that's their bread and butter. That's what they've exactly. been focusing they on. They need this to the sell Master really Chief, well. Collection. Well it was a fan because of Halo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It was, you know, they were, they didn't plan on doing that. It was like, yeah. oh, that and, would be nice for us to. And do. the thing is, they came out and said, you know, we're listening to our fans. We know what issues that we're facing, which is why they're patching it. But it also, when you're when you're going to release Halo later, you kind of know where to improve upon and that yeah. kind of thing. I think what would be a big difference for them is Halo Five is a three four three thing totally. Yeah. That's Chief Collection was outsourced to a lot of different places yeah. to keep up with the demand for what the game was. So that might have lent itself to more problems there. So it's a full internal game I think you might be fine with. Cool. A uh, game that we saw last year that kind of got me excited, even though it was just a trailer, was Scalebound. Hey, did you know this might have been an Xbox game this might be a remake of? I had no idea. <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> yes. Sam, did Fair you know that? I, I just found out yeah. earlier. <laughs> uh, no, that's why there was such an uproar at, at the <coughs> conference last year when they, they announced I just thought it, it looked, looked cool. I thought that's what people It looks awesome. Were. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it does. Was, it was like a hipster kid on a skateboard or something, and then he turns into a dragon hunter. Like you went from, like, it was like Wrong. me playing Skyrim or something, right? <laughs> no, that's not what it is. I, but I, I It has dragons. Like, we know that. Yeah. Dragons are always good. <laughs> that have like eight heads. Awesome. It looks really, really cool. Uh, I, I think, you know, as a first party title, they're going to want to have games, exclusive games for them that are going to be good. I think this is going to be one of them. Uh, again, expecting great things from Scalebound. We've got another Forza game coming out, Forza 6. Yeah, uh, another surprise. racing game. Yeah. Yep. Another Forza simulator racing game. I'm a big fan of the Horizon series. I don't know There's what they're going to do like to the, the the racing sim Forza. Agreed. Like, True. So it, I think it'll do well, just like all the other Forza. It'll be it'll interesting it'll to well. see how they compete with Project Cars, and see what aspects from that that they take on. And what aspects for, they're like? Oh no, for that's console dumb. gamers. Forza will probably do better than Project Cars because it has the bigger name car companies. I'm, yeah. I'm uh, going out of my limb here. I'm thinking the guys at Forza do not care about Project Cars and are going to make probably. the game that they want to make and just they're going to like, well, whatever. It's not the same thing with. It's an established series. That they, they've got uh, they've got a track record. No pun intended. And then I, yeah. I think they uh, you know the, the, they'll they'll put out a good quality title. But uh, we we do yeah. expect to see uh, some Need for Speed games uh, announcements. I know EA is working on a title that they showcased last year yep. that was kind of a racing game, hopefully a burnout game. Fingers crossed. Um, by the way, uh, all the other games, Ubisoft, Activision, you know, Konami, everybody else we'll be talking about later. Uh, today we're just covering the big three, um, so we'll have more info, info on you for those uh, companies later. Yeah. And maybe even separate videos on our channel. Yay! Yay, more content. <laughs> so Forza, uh, probably <laughs> another announcement that we can expect to see is Gears of War. Yeah. At least Whatever the, uh, it is. The, the Gears One remake that's been in the in the pipeline for now, or remaster, I guess, yeah. is more perfect. I think they're calling it Gears of War Ultimate Edition. That's something the like, the working title the among yeah. everybody talking about it online. Yeah. Which is like you said, Gears of War One. We'll probably see redone. like the 1080p, 60 frames. New textures and all that fun I stuff. I wonder if Wait. they'll include that level they cut. <laughs> the, the, oh, the, I the, the, the story makes sense. Yeah, between the train and the. Yeah, because the, the train just showed up and you, you didn't know why it was like, there and it was so stupid. All right, now I want a train and it's the end of the game. What now? <laughs> 
because everything is on a train. Big, yeah, big following. Yeah. If you know, if you put out a good game, you put out a good game. But you know, Gears of War uh, Four, hopefully, or whatever it's called. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I think but, we'll see an announcement. Yeah. Uh, or bigger, some kind of announcement, to. teaser at least. We know there's a new Gears game coming. I think that's we'll get a little yeah. bit more information. Uh, temporary exclusive for Xbox One. Ugh. Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be playing it first. I'll play it with you because I got an Xbox. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna break your Xbox so you can't do it. Well, The Witcher already tried. <laughs> yeah. So, um, almost. The, uh, it, it's exclusive to Xbox first, which it's coming to PS4 later. Uh, how soon we don't know. We heard things between the maybe a month of exclusivity, three months, six months. Sometimes uh, exclusivity lasts for a year for most downloadable content. So yeah. we don't know. Um, Tomb Raider's looking good, though. As long as it comes to the PS4, I'll yeah. be happy. Yeah, it'll come I mean, to the PS4. It does look good. All, I mean, all we've seen is a pre-rendered trailer so far, just yeah. to build the hype to do the announcement from last year. Um, I hope we get some gameplay. I hope we <laughs> really... If this showing's anything like the Tomb Raider showing at the at that E3, well, I think 2012, then you're going to... It's going to be good. It'd be amazing, because that was a lot. That, that yeah. showing sold me on the game and it ended up being one of the best games that came out that year. Yes. Agreed. Um, just a ton of fun. Good gameplay. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. So, can't wait to play that. Uh, other Microsoft announcements. I know Rare is working on a game that is supposed to be massive. It's supposed to be just new a huge, IP. huge deal. Rare so, hasn't done a new IP in a very long time. Yeah. Diddy Kong Racing 2. Can you imagine? I don't think you'll get that. that. No, no, Actually, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but exclusive title for Xbox One. Uh, so racing. we'll see what happens with uh, with Excuse that. Um, probably some Crackdown. We'll see Crackdown we at E3. <coughs> Definitely. <coughs> Cough in my sense. We will see Crackdown. Absolutely. All right. So um, Microsoft, a lot of good games. Um, should be a good conference for them. We're going to talk about Sony right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we just got them talking about Microsoft. Let's talk about Sony. 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 Uh, Sony E3. Um, you know, they, they they obviously have some some games that were delayed, like Uncharted. So let's talk about Uncharted 4. Uh, I'm sure we're going to see this at E3. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> sad face at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Um, Uncharted 4, I mean, yes, hopefully there's some hands-on. I know that one thing, you know, we actually just, we want to see this thing in action and actually get our hands on it and play it. I just want to see how pretty it is actually while playing the game. Yeah. Because The Witcher 3 has set a really high standard right now. Nice. Good, yeah. Uh, you're yeah, having some issues. I know, I had issues. So. The Witcher's a different story for me. Um, I, I definitely think we're going to see gameplay. I don't think there's any way around seeing gameplay at this. You know, I, With them pushing it back, I think they're going to have to show us something. they, they got to give us more. Yeah. Like can't wait. Tied us over until Release. first of next year, I think, is when it's delayed to spring. I cannot like, wait. Personally. I mean, the game's going to be amazing, and they're like, we're, Will's going to be there. We really need to have some. Oh, yeah, you're going to get caught on him. stage. Here, hold the controller. Will, oh. please come on down. Uh, we'd like to <laughs> pretend like you're playing. The next contestant on Sony Stream is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Uncharted, uh, for sure. Um, here's a little bit of speculation, but hopefully, we'll see or hear some God of War news. I'm, they'd almost be remiss <laughs> not to have God of War at this show, especially with the remaster for God of War 3 coming shortly after the show. Right. And then the tease that they did at PlayStation Experience in December with everybody wearing God of War apparel. Yeah, why did they do that? We, and they, and they didn't show anything. Any, and they had God of War music playing the whole time, too. I was just like, where's it at? Give me my God of War. Yeah. Uh, wow. You know, I, I, I think that, you know, taking, again, with the next-gen technology uh, on PS4. Man, it could be so Creating good. these, war oh, man. So Because already, like, you know, the God, God of War series is known for massive bosses, big levels. Um, you know, Epicness. That, like just, just that's sheer what it is. epic worlds. They were able to achieve that on PS2, take it a step further on PS3, and I can't wait to see what they Oh, did. yeah. Man, I, that's going to be cool. Um, no Man's Sky for PS4. Yay! I think this is going to be their flagship that they're really pushing because this is their biggest title I think they've got coming to them wow. right now. Yeah. Uh, and they've they've given them enough backing and guidance to put it into the AAA category. Yeah, No Man's Sky. I mean, it started off as an indie game. Was it Sean Murray? Sean Murray, Sean Murray. is the, the, co the founder and co-creator. Kudos, Sean. I mean, uh, you're taking a game that came up with an idea, a concept, and basically 
that some of the gameplay is you come into a world and your world is different than anybody else's world who plays it. It's always everybody's in the same world, but, but you know, two people will start, start at the same place in the same place yeah. because it's that big. So you, you could take like a week real time to catch up to your friend and like, oh, finally we start playing together. I came into your world, yeah. yeah. And, and do you die? Do you respawn back at your world? When you I, die, you start over. Completely so, over. Yep. You, you you lose your ship. You got to find materials to make it. You new. do whole everything. Whole yeah, new world. Over again, just yeah. So, but this game careful. looks crazy. Just a massive, <laughs> massive game. But it started out as a small indie game, and, and now it's so into this colorful. huge deal. It's colorful. Um, it's pretty. Like it's just very amazing. colorful. Um, I'm sure we'll see some Morpheus news from Sony. Uh, yeah. You I know, hands on this year. We, did, we didn't get to do it last year because the line was like three hours long or something. We were also really busy. Yeah. Yeah. That too. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, of course, we'll be covering uh, all things VR from from the Oculus and the Morpheus. Uh, there's still some sticking points for for the Morpheus, some, um, but they do expect to launch to consumers in 2016. But uh, you know, obviously, there's no price point for them yet announced, and yeah. we'll see how the development goes and how much support they'll they'll actually put out there for the games. Yeah, I think launch support's going to be iffy, but yeah, we'll we'll see. I think it'll be kind of like when they launch the Move on the PS3. They'll bundle it with like a a demo game a game or a demo disc with like five different VR titles like the snow one that they have uh, I think there's a uh, a night battle kind of thing there's a Lujin one too yeah that so there's cool. definitely potential there to get people interested right out of the box yeah. I, I just hope they support it like me too and, and you know with the move they didn't really support yeah, not a whole Too lot going on there. Well, oh, the move was terrible. And, and no, the, it wasn't. It wasn't terrible, yeah, but was pretty bad. But there was no, It wasn't terrible. It suffered the same thing as the Connect. It's a good peripheral with no support. It was not a lot of support because there's no quality games to support it. But you know, the thing with uh, VR is there's a lot of interesting things that they can do with it. Past gaming, can educationally, gaming to they can do world. simulations. They can do so many different things. Hopefully, it doesn't fall the way of like 3D gaming where. That didn't get really a big sport. That was like no, supposed to be Sony the next big really thing, and then gaming. it just kind of went. Bleh. Like they made a whole PlayStation TV for 3D gaming. Yeah, and and now look, you know, yeah, I think <laughs> there's a whopping like 12 games that support it. We'll see how it plays out. We'll have uh, a lot of coverage for you on that. Um, Until Dawn uh, is a game. Um, for Super. those of you who don't know, it's featuring Hayden Panettiere. Super. This game plays like a survival horror film. Movie. Yeah. I'm super excited about this game. They shut it off last year at E3. And the developer um, is really stressing, like, proper decision making yeah. to survive this game. It's so, a so or moral decisions that you make during the game affects how the story. It's unfolds. not moral decisions. It's like whatever your scena scenario like. decisions. Like yeah. you'll have an option to either hide and try and avoid the the killer or whatever is chasing you, or fight it or like try and distract it in some way to give you more space between yeah. them. Kind of like very Saul, Saul-esque. I mean, you got decisions that you'll be forced to make. Oh, yeah. So if I play this game, I'm not sleeping for... I weeks. don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem like the jump scare kind of survival horror, like it's Alien and Silent like Hill. Like the uncomfortable kind of thing. I think it's more like the psychological thing of somebody's always following you. Slender Man. Slender Man. <laughs> ah, I wonder if they'll have the forest at E3. I got, I got a feeling uh, that somebody's maybe. always watching me. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 nice little radio joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, Sony um, again should have some big titles. Hopefully, they you know they could really, you know I, I think they won last year, but they could really steal the show with some big announcements because right now those are the only they biggest games that we we know of. Um, anyway, uh, so we will cover Nintendo for you right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, Man's on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> I was making sure it wasn't my ride. You guys shut up. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get into some Nintendo, uh, some Nintendo news for uh, E3. Um, this year uh, at E3 for Nintendo, they're going to be talking about some games that they obviously talked about last year. Uh, one of those games being Yoshi's Woolly World. Yay. Yeah. Where's Yoshi? Yeah, Yoshi. Yeah, there he's hanging out on the couch here. Hey, buddy. R really, really like this game. Um, Looks pretty, plays smooth, and again, uh, my my thing with this game is the physics. I love yes, the way it, it definitely feels. Feels like a pillow squishing another pillow. Like yeah. you you get that feeling from the way they've designed the game. <laughs> not something just, I, no, I'm, I'm laughing at a different reference. It's not gonna make sense if I say it here. So sure. So, but we had some some hands on with it when we went down to DC to see uh, uh, Nintendo and. 
you know, overall thoughts, first impressions? I, I like it. I, the Yoshi platformers are my are my favorite platformers to come out of Nintendo over a certain Mario franchise. There, it's a it's a co-op game. A certain Mario franchise? You mean or, the Mario franchise? All, all of those Mario games, basically. It's yeah, a co it's, it's co-op. It's got it includes co-op. Um, the, uh, amiibo, amiibo support, which is the amiibos nice. look adorable, of course. Uh, yes. Well, they have the Woolly World amiibos specifically to help to give you an advantage there, but they also have uh, skins for the Yoshi's that you can scan in through other um, amiibos too. And the amiibos like made out of yarn or something? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's a full nice yarn little amiibo. soft little. Squishy Yoshi. Yeah. I mean, like it's, a little, a it's a little more expensive than the regular Amiibos, but well, that's, that's I mean, to be I mean, the, yeah. I mean, it's not PVC plastic, so. Sure. But I, I enjoy it. I like Yoshi games a lot, so I'll be picking this up. Yeah, for Definitely. sure. It looks really like good. Way, I like the sound Yoshi makes when he jumps. I love <laughs> it. Just love it. All right, so uh, we'll have more for you on that game soon. Uh, Mario Maker. Um, Huge we'll, we'll, presence. Uh, yeah, it, it was there last year. We, we we played it. It was good. It was announced last year. This year it's launching, and so they're making this their focal point. Like Smash Bros. was their focal point last year. Mario Maker is taking over for that this year. It's huge to them that they're just giving you, like, here's our assets for Mario in a game. Do what Take you want it and it. run with it. I, I feel. I think it was like an inevitable for them to get there because people are already kind of doing this anyway. Yeah. But I think it yep. just adds. It, it, it for a lot. It's like a dream come true. I can make my own Mario game. Really, this yeah. is a bit. And yeah. I think it'll help with, with yeah. kids and education because they see the Mario characters and then you say, okay, go build a level for Problem you. Problem solving skills. Problem solving skills. Uh, cause and effect. Team based um, building, team ba building, and game design. Yeah, that's that's my thing right there. I think I think it's a it's an intro. Could be on a resume if you're going to submit some materials or here's some of the things that I've done. Look what I did with these tools in this game. Little Big Planets, another good case of that. But now it's in a Mario game, so um, very very cool. Yeah. And I've got to plug it one last time. Uh, I can't wait to see what an 8-bit Yoshi looks like. Hopefully it's in there. There's an 8-bit Yoshi somewhere already. Oh man. I don't got, think so. There actually has to be. Yeah. It's got. You know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, I think Star Fox. We'll probably see Star Fox. I got Definitely a pretty good Star feeling Fox. about Star Fox, especially in this. since Miyamoto like teased it last year during mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. He he played it for a different news site. Not as good as us. Again, I'll say that again. <laughs> Not as good as us. Um, played it. You know, he did the motion controls with the, what was Star Fox flying around. Yep. Um, we've played Project Guard, which has a lot of Star Fox looking uh, logos in it. There's actually the, come across on the radio. Oh, great! So that's going to be on there. <laughs> he right. will finish in his drink. Right. Uh, Star Fox logos on in the game. On that, the game. that was fun. It was like a mini game, I think. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't I mean, yeah. not like a mini game like Mario Party. It was a mini game that's just kind of like a different dimension. Like if you're on a planet, you know, you to protect your base. Here's robots. Take them out. All in the Star Fox game, though. Yes. Yeah. But they didn't come out and say that officially. Uh, you right. know, we did. We brought it, it up might to them. Be Star Fox related when you pointed out the logo. I said, "What's the logo doing in there?" They go, "Oh, good eye." Uh, <laughs> we can't really comment on that now, but maybe sometime in the future. So, <laughs> there it is. Um, Star Fox. I mean, uh, huge following. I, <sighs> gonna be a great game. Yeah, uh, I hope so. I enjoy the Star Fox series. Well, at least the Unreal shooters. I didn't get into Star Fox Adventures. Do a barrel roll. All right. There you go. Um, so uh, I think Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, we'll we'll X. see X. Yes. Um, we'll see that. Um, fan of this series or? I ne never played it. Uh, the only experience I have with it is Shulk through Super Smash Brothers, and he is a pain to play against. Um, very a lot, a lot of following for this game yeah. that I've never even really dabbled in at I, all. I, th I think like a lot of the, time. a lot of our listeners and viewers are kind of in the same boat that you are. It's a game that you hear, that you know of, that has a big presence, but you're like, well, I've never played it. I don't know much about it. I'm just going to pass it right. by. Don't pass it by. Play this game. It's fun. It's good. Um, I think you'll get into it when, when you play it. Um, give it a chance. I mean, um, great characters, great story, Absolutely. decent game. Um, on, there's one on 3DS now. Yeah, that's the um, remake of the, the first on the one. For the new yeah. 3DS, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Um, which is great for it because now it's on a platform that you can take with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yep. So I think that'll be a great way to get new players. Yeah, yeah. new players to oh, play absolutely. the uh, the sequel that's coming out, and if they don't have a Wii U to go buy a Wii U for this game, this is a huge game. It's a yeah. 300 hour game. Like, oh, yeah. You know, it's a party system monster hunting game. Yeah, it, so. it's definitely up there with be about Monster it. Hunter. <laughs> Fire Emblem, uh, we'll probably see. Um, a presence at E3 this yeah. year for Nintendo. There's a new Fire Emblem game coming. I can only imagine there's a show. Is it for Wii U or is it for 3DS? It's for 3DS. 3DS. Yeah, they haven't had a Wii U Fire Emblem game. That would be I cool. didn't know. I don't know much about. It's okay. The announcement. <laughs> so. That would be cool though. I think they need to put a lot of their 
3DS franchises on the Wii U. Well, I mean, you're seeing the DS come to the virtual console, so I would imagine we'll yeah. see a virtual console kind of but thing. Think at think of what also. people would do with a full Pokemon RPG on the Wii U. Shh, you save it for the prediction awesome. show. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll probably see some DLC uh, coming uh, for probably Mario Kart, I would imagine. Maybe Smash yep. Brothers. They came out and said they want to work on more Mario Kart and Smash Bros. DLC, so you'll probably see some more announcements on that. Okay, they did really well with the ones that they had come out with. Oh, super, yeah. super well. You'll see Lucas. Yeah, Lu I mean, Lucas is coming in June for downloadable for Super Smash Bros. I think you see it now, so pass that for more characters. Yeah. So, Nintendo, uh, so they, they could have all kinds of good stuff this year for you at E3. We'll, of course, be covering all that information for you this year. Um, and once again, uh, you can check us out on youtube.com slash PSVGTV or twitch.tv slash press underscore start underscore TV. And, of course, on Facebook at facebook.com slash press start VG. That's all the time we have for you today. That is our E3 prep talk. We'll be covering everybody else and everything else on our next episode, so look out for that. Until next time, see ya. See ya. Later. Later.